Hey, this is Pete Schmidt. Thanks for checking this video out and tuning into my channel. Weekly traditional blues guitar tutorials and lessons. So for this week, I did some improvising in the key of A, A major. Blues style improvising, using a hollow body this time through an amp and playing really clean. So I thought I'd go over an approach to doing some string bending using a hollow body guitar and uh, some phrasing as I do often in these tutorials. So we'll get started and remember you can subscribe to my channel. Each week I put something new on. All right, we'll get started. So key of A, I'm using largely the minor and major pentatonic scales and uh, some chromatic notes as well. And um, what I thought to focus on are the bent notes that I'm playing throughout this improvisation. Um, it's a hollow body that I'm using, so um, sustain is limited and I'm playing really clean as well. So it wouldn't be a factor of gain that would uh, add to my sustain. So on how I'm doing that is adding vibrato to bent notes and just to the individual notes. You can use finger vibrato. To sustain the note, but what I was doing on my first note, for example, bending up to my root note, which is an A, and then uh, putting some vibrato on, which um, adds a nice amount of sustain. There's just a pentatonic uh, run. That's a major pentatonic sounding line right there. There's that vibrato. All right, so those two notes are pretty important bent notes. I'm bending up to a four on this one. So that's a four on the top E string. And I'm actually using my pinky and uh, ring finger and middle finger to do that bend. You certainly can use the ring finger and middle finger, kind of a classic way of bending. And you can certainly wrap your thumb over the neck for added uh, leverage. The second bent note, that's a five which is an E. Bending the note and adding vibrato. So that's how I'm doing it with a hollow body, uh, getting some sustain and clean as well. All right, so I'm uh, doing some position shifting there, going from my first pentatonic home box position to the second position and coming back down again. It's a cool way of combining uh, combining the positions. There's my root note and vibratoing that and then on the way back down. There's lots of things you can do to connect those positions and uh, it's just was part of my improvisation there but largely sticking with the notes of the pentatonic scale and combining with some chromatics as well Alright, so I'm starting off using this A root note and really playing in that area. There's a partial bend. Shifting positions and all 
right? So that's a way of combining this mid position and shifting up into a higher position and ending that off with a, with a bend. Right, so I'm combining second position, uh, connecting second position to the first position, and vibratoing and bending, and then moving into that third position. And here's a connector from the second to the first position. So what I'm doing there is bending up to that five and then vibratoing it and, and picking down. Kind of to mimic a, I guess, mimic a slide or something like that. <laughs> All right, so that's a way of connecting uh, second and third position with first position. Improvisation, uh, combining position one and two. I have a double stop in there. Real BB King style into a BB King style bend as well. Into that root. So coming into the middle string position there and just working off of this uh, A. And then into the lower position to finish things off with a jazzy sounding ending chord. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, some ideas on uh, improvising lead guitar blues style. Some of the important things to keep in mind and work on is string bending and uh, sustain using vibrato, whether it's a, a finger vibrato on a note or um, putting vibrato on after reaching the note through bending. So that and then combining pentatonic positions and uh, some of the lines that you can use uh, using pentatonics and some chromatic uh, notes in addition as well. Phrasing in general, of course, is a never-ending uh, work in progress for all of us. So I hope you enjoyed this once again and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. I've got weekly tutorials and uh, blues guitar lessons. Thanks and we'll see you again soon.